The editor limit settings lets you control the maximum number of editors that can be open at any one time in your current VS Code window. This can be helpful for keeping the window organized and making sure you're not ending up with a huge number of open text editors. Now by default, this is disabled, but there are a few different settings you can use to turn this on and then configure it as well. So I'm gonna open up my settings with control comma or command comma on Mac and search for editor limit. The first setting we wanna look at is the workbench editor limit enabled setting. And this is going to turn on or off editor limits. Again, they are disabled by default, but in this case, I wanna make sure these are turned on. The next setting here is workbench editor limit value. So this is going to control the number of editors that can actually be open at any one time if you've enabled editor limits. The default for this is 10. In my case, I've set it to three just for demonstration purposes. So now I have editor limits enabled and let's go open a few files. So over here in the Explorer, I'm gonna open the JS config markdown file here, the JSON file, and then watch what happens when I go and open this Julia file. You can see that there are still just three editors open. And what has happened is that VS Code has gone and closed the oldest open file. So in, that, in this case, it was the old markdown file that I had open. And whenever I go and open a new file, it's always going to try to close the oldest file and replace that because we're hitting that editor limit. So VS Code is going to try to ensure that there are always just three editors open. Now, one thing to note about this is that these editor limits by default are going to apply across all editor groups that you have open. So if I go and I create another editor group here, and then open another file over in that second editor group. So I'm focused on my second editor group. Let's go open the PHP file. You can see that there are still just three editors open across these two groups. So that editor limit of three is applying across all of my editor groups. If you don't like that behavior and if you instead want the editor limits to apply within an editor group, you can easily use a setting to turn that on. So I'm gonna open my settings again with control comma or command comma and search for editor limit again. And this time I want the workbench editor limit per editor group set in here. When I turn this on, the editor limits are instead going to apply to each editor group individually. So I'm going to go and make this group a little bit smaller so we can see what's happening here. And watch as I'm opening files over here in this first editor group, there are three editors open in this group and it has not affected this second group over here. So now the editor limit is applying per group instead of for my entire VS Code window. So that's a quick introduction to editor limits and a few of the ways you can configure them in VS Code.